three and one so far on the season. Obviously, off to a quite well start. Uh, what have you liked from your team so far the first four games of the season? Uh, just their growth right now and being able to um, really work on different offensive and defensive type things. We brought in some different systems a little bit this year with some tweaks. And so just being able to get them to catch up with a little bit of the um, the pace that we're trying to get to and uh, just them being able to volleyball like you uh, has been a really important part for them to be three and one at this point. So let's talk a little bit about Amy Gordon so far and Alyssa Dano and obviously Jenna Smith leaving last year. The transition was a bit iffy for a lot of the fans and so far Amy Gordon and Alyssa both doing outstanding. What did you like from their game so far and how they've handled this new kind of role? Yeah, well, you know, when you lose a, a leader and a competitor like Jenna Smith, it's never, you're not going to replace her, but uh, Amy has come in and she's really taken the reins, and then Elisa is, is the type of person that just brings a lot of creativity, and I think the, the combo of those two is, is really exciting to watch, and, and us being able to use the double sub and, and whatnot. Um, I mean, they're both smaller setters, so uh, we're able to utilize them as best as we can, but they're both... Uh, they're doing a heck of a job right now. They're running a really good offense, and, and we're very, very pleased with them. So you've got the home games against GBCO this weekend. Anything specific you guys have done in practice so far to uh, prepare for this game, or is it just kind of another match as usual? Well, it's, it's never just another match as usual. I mean, these next three weekends are uh, really important. We're playing top six teams in the country, right, the next three weekends. So... Uh, you know, UBCO ranked number two. Uh, they've been very, very good and very competitive for over the years. So we have to have a game plan against them, and we can't just do certain things that, um, you know, that we think will, you know, only counteract them. We've got to be very productive offensively and defensively against a, a team with three outstanding outside hitters and just the... Uh, the experience of them being a bronze medal national champion last year and uh, lots of people that can run the floor over there. Final one for you here, you're four games into this season, you're playing the number two ranked team. Do you think that your team is, they have their legs underneath them now or are they still kind of getting into the season, getting warmed up as we hit the midway point of the season? No, I think we're we're ready to go. I mean, we're excited for these, these matches for sure coming up and and UBCO, uh, you know, they were a college once as well, so there's always that little extra rivalry. And Steve Manuel is a great coach. Um, I love competing against him. He's a, you know, he's a good friend and whatnot. So the girls are ready. They're absolutely ready for this. And, and this is just another uh, opportunity to see where, where we're at, where we stand, and, and what we need to get better at and, and uh, push and be competitive against, uh, against the number two team in the country.